वेलकम बैक है सो एनवीडिया हैज ब्लॉक सम कॉमनली यूज वीपीएन इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट द पीपल नॉट लिविंग इन जापान फ्रॉम एक्सेसिंग द फ्री जापान बेस सर्वर ऑफ जी फोर्स नाउ आई एम फ्रॉम इंडिया यूज टू एक्सेस दिस सर्विस वाया प्रोटोन बी पी एन दिस ट्रिक डज नॉट वर्क नाउ हाउ एवर आई वॉज एबल टू एक्सेस द सर्विस यूजिंग सॉफ्ट ईथर वी पी एन इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू एक्सेस द सर्विस ऑन बोथ पी सी एंड एंड्रॉयड डिवाइसिस हेयर आई एम यूजिंग रियल मी पैड and you can see this message gforce now is not currently available in your region so first i'll show you how to get the service working on android go to play store download this application open vpn connect install installation complete i'll open the application okay this prompt will pop up data collection you can read it if you want tap on agree the application is ready to use now we need to download an ovpn file Open a web browser and go to this website vpngate.net. I'll give its link in the description of this video. Just scroll down. From here you need to download an OVPN file corresponding to the Japan-based server. Here you will find a lot of Japan-based servers. And just select the server having a few number of sessions. I'll go with the first one. And just tap here. Scroll down. Tap on this link. Dot OVPN file which is including IP address. It has been downloaded. Just tap on open. The OVPN app that we just downloaded earlier from Play Store will open this OVPN file. Just tap on OK. Check this box. Connect after import. Tap on add. Here tap on OK. Our device is trying to connect to the VPN. Connection successful. VPN is running. Now I'll run GeForce Now. First, let me just show you the servers. Basic version of GeForce Now. Service location. You can see Japan-based servers. I'll just run the next generation version of Witcher Three. I own it on Steam. You can see, 56 gamers ahead of me. Game will be launching soon. The error stating that the service is not available in my country is not popping up now. All right, we are in. Okay, so this issue is still present. The service downloads some game files before you can start it. Twelve point eight GB in size. Download speed is fast. They still haven't fixed this. Okay, so here I'm getting very poor stream quality. Stream is flickering. Resolution seems to be around four eighty p. I can fix this issue by disconnecting from the VPN. You can see OVPN connected. Just tap on disconnect. Now the flickering is gone. Picture quality is looking sharp. Let me just enable the performance overlay. Press and hold the start key. Then press the L1, L2, and B keys together. You can see the resolution here. FPS, full HD resolution, 60 FPS, real time data consumption. I launched the DirectX 12 version of the game. Okay, these are the display settings. Resolution set to full HD. Frame rate limit set to 60. These are the graphics setting. Anti-aliasing set to DLSS. I have set its quality to quality. AI upscaling technique. Rest of the settings are set to high. All of these effects have been enabled. Not using Nvidia hair bugs. Let's start the game. All right, game has started, guys. Check out the real-time input response. No VPN running in the background. Using the Japan-based server from India.
prompt I just want to switch to Igni there you go that works very nicely I'm looking for some clues here I need to use my Bitcher Sense literally pressed all of the keys Oh my god. Why am I building a torch? <laughs> this is so funny. It's running very nicely, guys. In case you want to reconnect to the VPN, just open the Open VPN application. Here you will find the profile that you just created earlier. Just toggle it. Wait for a few seconds. Connection should establish. There you go, connected. Now I'll move on to PC. This is the PC client of GeForce now. Let me just show you the server location. From here, go to settings. Click on this slot here, Japan based servers. And these are the stream settings. Resolution set to full HD. Frame rate set to 60 FPS. Using an Ethernet connection here. On my mobile phone, I was using a 5 GHz band Wi Fi channel. On Windows, we need to download the Soft Ether VPN client from this website. I'll give its link in the description of this video. Just click on this link. Download will start. This is the archive file that I just downloaded. Need to extract its contents. I'll just extract them here. Run the exe file. Next, yes, select the sort ether VPN client, click on next, I agree, next, default installation directory, if you want to specify any other directory, select the second option, next, wait for the installation to complete, it is possible that this method may not work in the future, who knows. Just click on finish. Application should start. You can access it from the taskbar. This is its icon. Double clicking it will open the application. From here you need to select the second option VPN gate public VPN relay servers. Double click on it. All of the different servers are shown here. Just select any one of the Japan based servers having less number of sessions. I'll go with this server. Just click on connect to the VPN server. Agree. Okay. Select this option recommended. Wait for the connection to establish. Connect it. Open GeForce now and launch any game that you own. I'll just run God of War. Those GeForce Now users who played the game before its removal from the service still have access to it. Steam version of the game. Nvidia knows that I am using a VPN. Still they are letting me use the service. Continue anyway. In the free version I need to wait in a waiting queue. 102 gamers ahead of me. Ok so the game started, I'll enable the performance overlay, need to press the control plus G keys together. You can see getting 60 FPS here, ping of around 155 milliseconds, poor stream quality, resolution dropped down to 960 by 540 pixels, so I'll just disconnect from the VPN. Press the ALT plus TAB keys together. Right click on this third option VPN get connection. Select disconnect. That's it. You can close this. 
back to our stream you can see resolution changed to full hd getting a ping of around 145 milliseconds in game fps is around 80 stream fps is around 60 okay so these are the graphics setting custom preset here you can see our connection changed from vpn to ethernet resolution set to full hd dlss enable set to quality this Kratos game is running very smoothly. So guys, this is how you can access the Japan based server in 2023 even from an unsupported region. I'll end the video here. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.